Greetings everyone and welcome to another video in uh, this YouTube channel. So today we are going to discuss something really, really important, right? Uh, probably at this time you already have heard uh, what is Gen AI, uh, all the artificial intelligence, chat GPT, uh, Copilot, and so on and so forth, right? Um, maybe some of them you are already even using it, right? Um, even on the on, on Bing uh, natively there, or just using um, the traditional ChatGPT, for example, or any other uh, AI out there. But one of the things that uh, it's very important uh, for me since since the beginning of this, right? Um, it was about uh, it was about security. Um, what I'm trying to say with security, it's every question that we uh, that we th that we post there, uh, so so the AI can can answer. Uh, where are all of those stored? Uh, are they training the data with, with those questions? Of course, you should not put any personal data there. Of course, uh, any confidential data from from your employee, from your employer. Sorry. Um, so all of that, it's very very important. Even from your normal questions day to day. Um, to me, that is that is paramount. Um, so. Since the release, of course, of the open source models, uh, particularly you know Llama uh, from from Facebook, and then after that, that opened the 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 the, the, the sphere, you know, the, that opened the community to for mm, so many other very good quality open source models. Um, there are a few tools uh, out there today regarding um, how to use uh, the. These open source models, uh, the local models on your computer. Uh, some models they're quite big, and then you are going to need like a very powerful machine to run them, um, or even you know like a proper server because uh, because the, the the amount of uh, the billion um, of uh, of context uh, and and, and th that becomes um, very huge for a for a regular computer. But some others like uh, like those uh, these models that they are. Four billion, two point five billion, one billion, uh, even um, those models can fit on day-to-day -day computers, and that's what we are going to see today. We are going to explore a new, a new tool or newest tool uh, that is completely open source. You can see the code, you can contribute to the code on GitHub and so on, and uh, it's available on Macintosh. It's available. Uh, it's available as well on Windows and in Linux. So let's take a look into Jan. Let's take a look into this. So um, if we go right now, uh, it says rethink, rethink the computer, turn, turn your media uh, into an AI machine, turn your computer into an AI machine. So if we go here, GitHub, Discord, Build with Love, seems a lot of community, a lot of things around uh, Twitter for, for all of this. Very, very nice, good reviews. You know, it, it's giving you a few examples over here of uh, how to use how to use the tool. It is a very very simple uh, our f philosophy status quo. This is very important, right? And then Jan came here to just give us uh, all of this on prem securely, open source the tool itself. Uh, more than uh, you know, more than um, uh, half a million downloads. This is very nice. So let's take a look here. And then there's then. Let's download the, the the package. You see different operating uh, systems, so that's very nice. In the case that you have um, something else, I have Windows. So let's go here and install it in Windows. The install is a breeze, literally. I mean, it just takes nothing. Um, and then when when this is going to open, let's see. I'm I'm expecting that we will need to select some models to start chatting with. But let's 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 take a look into into all of this. Um, I will run another reviews regarding other tools. Um, what I like from this from this specific tool is so simple, right? It's already here. Let's explore the hub. It's telling us, hey, uh, welcome. You don't have any model. So let's go and explore the models here. The models are, well, Mistral, of course, 7 billion, uh, quantified as well, uh, Q4. And then let's see what, what else here. Um, for better performance on computers, you know, it's going to need four gigs of RAM, four gigs of RAM, four gigs of RAM. Trinity, Steel, uh, OpenChat 3.5, Wizard Coder, Python. Very nice. It just requires a bit more uh, RAM. And then the all the Internet ones. They are they of course they don't need any uh, any RAM. 
Now, Tiny Llama, as you see, some of those 1.1 billion that I mentioned, 2 billion. The fee, 2, is a very nice 3 billion, and so on, right? Some of them, they are quite large. As you see, I'm going to need a lot of RAM to run all of these, uh, some of these, even Llama 2, 70 billion. I don't even have enough RAM to, to run this. Neither on RAM itself, neither on the uh, on the virtual on the uh, on the VRAM, meaning the GPU itself. So hopefully you can run this pretty much in any computer, right? With four gigs of of RAM or four gigs of your GPU, this should be simple to to run. Now let's take a look here. Okay, so I'm already using the uh, Mistral seven billion testing Mistral seven billion. Uh, well, I think I misspelled that, but anyway, I'll, I'll come back into that later. Okay, um, you can put some instructions to the assistant if you want. Uh, you can play with the uh, inference parameters here. I always like temperature 0 0.1 or, you know, a, a bit less creative. Um, so it hallucinates a bit less. And then you can even have the model parameters here for the uh, prompt template. Anyways, let's go here and say hello. Um, this is amazing. I am running uh, my AI locally and private. Can you help me? Just type here with a quick PowerShell um, script, write a PowerShell script to get all my protected VMs in or for beam backup and replication let's see let's see what what this give us is now to loading is now loading the model it has been successfully loaded and now you can see the token around 4.22 tokens per sec um so it's not as fast as gpt's on the cloud and so on but this is local this is private that's the beauty of this I think it's giving me as well a bit of nonsense. What is this beam.com power CLI dot uh, ASPX? Let me change to Mistral power CLI dot uh, ASPX. I think this is, is hallucinating a bit. Um, I think it's hallucinating on the VPR session to do the VMware dot beam dot service content and then connecting to the VPR server over the port 443 SDK. That is 100% wrong because that should be. Um, connecting to the uh you know to the power cell itself to the to the um, not connecting to that module it looks really being where anyways what else okay some uh adding the type over here the credentials then i add in the type path for the again being power cli dll this is very wrong and then protected vms uh and so on okay not really good at coding, or not at least not really good at coding. Uh, PowerShell, uh, at least you know, with this um, uh, w <laughs> uh, uh, about about Vim. But anyways, let's let's take a look more into uh, let's take a look more into this. Uh, what else? Let's create a new thread now, and then in this new thread, let's use Mistral Seven Billion for some basic translation, some of my blog posts to um, translate it from Spanish. To English. Remember that Mistral 7, 7 billion, it has a 4096 uh, tokens limit. So that is for the input and for the output. So perhaps um, perhaps I'm expecting I will select like a very short, uh, very short blog post. And you can be translating this post in the style of Jorge de la Cruz for Jorge de la Cruz with blog. Here is the title. I have a very short blog post. And here is the post. Uh, let's let's maybe say that doesn't need to translate the uh, the code because it has a few code snippet, uh, snippets here. Here is the post. Do not need to translate the um, console commands, of course. <laughs> Sometimes you just need to to be very precise. Okay, so I paste my ent uh, blog entry here. Quite large. Uh, it took some time. To, to to think about it and again the that, that speed tokens all of this is a bit accelerated so you you do not need to wait that much let's look at the resources of this uh very nice i will say in terms of cpu 
quite busy because he's doing things. In terms of RAM, nothing, you know, at the moment, less than one gig of RAM. And in terms of GPU, well, it's using, you know, you can see the GPU working right here. I have a 3090, but again, something that it uh, has four gigs of, or more RAM, it will work for your Mistral uh, Instrut uh, 7 billion. Okay, so it's making a good work with the translation, I'll say, uh, but it cut here. So I will say here, continue, and then let's see. Um, okay, I just, I just completely cut it because, uh, because it was taking a, 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 a bit of some time. Um, but anyways, you, you can see that over in a minute, more or less after a minute, uh, an entire minute, it just gave me the full response here. Um, so that's it. I have my blog post uh, translated from Spanish to, to English. It did, um, I think, good job, to be honest. And then now I wanted to show you a few more things. One is the local API server. This is very important because you can run one of the Mistral or anything that is very small and then publish it over an API. So you can just connect your uh, local applications. We are going to see more local applications maybe in another video. And then now the models, as you see here, well, advanced settings, I, I just playing around to see what is what, is what here. Um, extensions, okay, I have the Tensor. Maybe the Tensor, uh, RTLLM, if you have the correct drivers on the NVIDIA, it will be interesting to, um, to install it. Now, if I go into the OpenAI GPT-4 or 3.5 Turbo or 3.5 Turbo 16K, you can use them uh, if you have an, uh, an API key, meaning you have an account and you have pre prepaid and everything. I do have it. I paste my key over there, by the way, that key is removed already. And then now if we try uh, something like, hello, um, how are you? Today, this is real time. I think we are going to see the difference now. You see the difference of GPT 3.5 Turbo. It is absolutely insane. It just goes so, so fast. Let's try something like we did before, right? About the, the script for being backup and replication. And of course, this is going to be better. I know. Uh, but again, uh, the first model it was local and the second model it's once again on someone else's computer. Let's take a look. It's looking much better. It's importing the module correctly, the Veeam uh, PSS uh, napping, and then connecting to the VBR, and then getting me the protected VMs, which is OK. But then it's not giving me the unprotected VMs. So I'll try to force the model to uh, think a bit more. Remember, this is 3.5. If, if we select uh, GPT-4, most likely this will get it right um, in the first instance. But you can see how quick I've changed between models, local, online, local maybe to another model. It is so, so easy. Okay, there is looking much better, as you see here, giving me much better and more concise. Uh, okay, yeah, it's connecting to the uh, VR backup, connect to the BB, to the BB server as well, to the VMware vSphere. This is looking much better. You can see the remote here. Um, you can change quickly between any model uh, to 4, to the 3.5 Turbo, to any local, as I mentioned. Um, this is very powerful. Can you navigate the internet? Just to take a look. But unfortunately, at least this model or this model plus Jan, it does not allow navigate the internet. But anyways, uh, I think Jan is a very nice, um, it is a very nice tool. Uh, as you can see here, changing models is very simple. And I mean, if you ask me, I will totally keep it here installed, running some of the queries that I want to run or pass through these specific uh, private models on my com own computer using my own private models that I like more. You know, it can be the 1.1 billion, the 7 billion, and so on. I know they are not going to be GPT-4. We need to be uh, aware of that. But again, sometimes the answer, uh, it can be very good or it can be even good enough to, uh, at the expense of it private and at the expense, of course, of uh, we have, con we control absolutely everything. And anyways, there were, it was another model regarding uh, coding 
or a right there. So maybe maybe with that model, um, the result for PowerShell or maybe other languages, it will be much better, right? Like Python, for example. Um, I'm sure um, Mistral or any other, it will be much superior than something very, let's say, niche regarding uh, technical documentation like, like the product I was trying to write Vim. PowerShell, um, you need to have all that uh, data train and so on. So I'm pretty sure with some more basics, Python, HTML, PHP, um, it will be much more efficient. That is all. I think this is this is very nice. And you should consider at some point running some of this on-prem private AI uh, on your computers, because again, we do not know um, when all of this is going to change, perhaps, or more laws are going to come, or the, the the models that we are using today, GPT-4, uh, you know, Copilot, and so on, it might change, new regulations. We know that with these on-prem um, models, I think for now, we do have the control about, uh, about uh, the data. And I think that it will be a bit more difficult to put any restriction on that because at the end it's already private, right? Um, that, that is even, I think, where the industry should focus a bit more, right? To do more private uh, gen, gen AI so it becomes um, secure and, uh, and private. And you have the full governance. So that is all. If you give it a try to Jan, please let me know in the comments. Um, and if you know any other tool, let me know. I've be, I been using for quite some months already another tool that I will run um, another video another time. But hopefully you like the video. And if that's so, leave some comments, subscribe, and the usual, uh, the usual drill. Thanks so much for watching and have a good day. Bye.